Hey guys, what's going on? Steve Arajo here with The Bass Hang, and I am excited to bring you this video. My friends at Audio-Technica have sent me a great wireless microphone system that is specifically designed for video cameras and DSLRs, so specifically designed for videographers, people such as myself. So it is an incredible, rad little unit. That's the box right there. So as you can see from the box, it comes with a receiver and a transmitter. Uh, and the receiver is small enough and it has a mount that is specifically designed to go on your video camera or your DSLR, such as this right here. I'm going to use my little zoom feature. So there it is. We're going to zoom in and this is what it looks like mounted up to a DSLR. So you can see the receiver is right here. It mounts to the hot shoe mount of a DSLR or a video camera and that's basically what, it's look, what it looks like. It has an audio out that goes into the input of your camera. I'm <laughs> getting in the shot there. So as you can see it's very portable and not much bigger than the size of let's say a microphone, you know, shotgun mic that mounts onto your hot shoe mount of a camera. So let me talk about it a little bit here. So Again, let me zoom in a little bit. Right, there we go. All right. So, it is a, a system that comes with a receiver and a transmitter. So, the receiver mounts to your DSLR or your video camera. The transmitter is this right here. It's a little belt pack. And what comes with it is a belt pack with a lavalier microphone. So, basically, the lavalier microphone will clip onto my lapel or my interviewer's lapel. And basically, I'll pick up the audio super clean and close to my victim <laughs> or my audio source. Uh, the transmitter is small. It actually, you can get different attachments for the transmitter so that you can use it, let's say, with a guitar. So it comes with a quarter inch attachment also, which is really cool. So let me talk a couple about a couple of things here. I'm going to compare some microphones. So what I'm using here now, what you're hearing, is my camera, which is a Canon Vixia HF-S20. That's my video camera. That's the camera that I've been using for a long time, ever since I got really serious about videos. You are hearing the microphone on that camera. That's what you're hearing right now. I do not like it. I'm not crazy about the sound because I think it's just a little noisy. Um, it also will pick up any sound that you're um, making holding the camera. So if it wasn't mounted, if I was actually walking around and videotaping, it's going to capture any sound, anything that, I, you know, if I'm messing with any settings, if I'm zooming in and out, it's going to pick up those sounds. So it's going to be a little noisy. And I also want to actually have you hear what it sounds like as a microphone to, uh, to, for miking up an instrument. So here is... camera mic sounds like uh, with a bass going, uh, going on in the background there, or for demo purposes. I'm not too crazy about it. So what I've actually used is this little Sennheiser MKE 400. It's a little shotgun mic. You can see, I'm going to cruise in there if you can uh, see it. So it's a little shotgun mic that mounts to the hot shoe mount of my video camera, and it actually sounds a lot better. It's a, it's like I said, I keep saying, repeating, it's a shotgun mic, so it's going to pick up exactly what's right in front of it. It's very uh, unidirectional, so probably hypercardioid, so it's very pointy and will just pick up exactly what I'm saying. So I'm going to plug it in, and you're going to hear the difference. So, um, by the way, this little thing is powered by a AAA battery. That's it right there. So, uh, okay, so let's plug this sucker in. So check it out. I'm plugging it in as I speak. Let me see. It's not plugged in yet. You're still hearing, you're still hearing the audio from the video camera itself, and now you should be hearing audio from the um, Sennheiser MKE 400. So now, let me just make sure my cable's out of the way. All right, guys. So now you are hearing audio from my little Sennheiser mic. Let me zoom in just a little bit. There we go. So as you can see or hear, as you can hear, it definitely sounds better. It sounds cleaner. Um, 
the white ambient noise isn't as much because it is very, very, like I said, it's hyper cargo. It actually will pick up exactly what's in front of it. So it's really um, not picking up a lot of the ambient sound. So let me uh, play my little, uh, little playing example and that's what you'll hear. Uh, that's what actually, let me say this too, that since I got the camera, I got the Sennheiser microphone right away because I did not want to use the microphone on the camera. I just knew it wasn't, wouldn't sound that good, so I've been using the Sennheiser. That's what you hear on all of the demos from the bass hang. Um, and it's a really great sounding mic, so... sounds really great. At least it sounds, I think, a lot better than the, than the, um, the camera microphone. So next, you are going to hear the Audio-Technica System 10. So let me hook that up and you're going to hear what that sounds like. All right, check it out. All right, guys, so now I am back and what you are hearing now is the audio from the lavalier mic um, and the transmitter from uh, the Audio-Technica System 10 wireless system. A lot of uh, better things <laughs> come from having a microphone up close to your audio source. You're gonna really, really um, knock down that noise floor. So you're not gonna have all this ambient white noise going on. It is literally like the microphone is right here. So it's great, even though my camera is about, what, six feet away. So. The onboard camera mic, again, was picking up my audio from about six feet away. It's gonna pick up a lot of ambient sound, a lot of white noise. The Sennheiser little shotgun mic <coughs> is gonna be a lot better because it's gonna be more focused. It's gonna knock down some of that ambient noise. I think the Sennheiser sounds great, but then now we are literally, you know, up close and personal, which is great because if I'm ever interviewing somebody or talking to somebody in a noisy area, my camera can be really far away and at the same time be picking up the audio as if I was just right up on them, you know, really super close. So let me explain a couple of things too. Um, the receiver from the System 10 by Audio-Technica will accommodate up to eight transmitters. So you can have up to eight of these going, or you can have one of these, a couple of handhelds. So this is their handheld unit, kind of like a, um, you know, SM58-ish type of microphone and you can assign them different channels, so channels one through eight. The thing you cannot do though, is you cannot have two audio signals going on at the same time. So I can have this going, then I can turn it off, turn my handheld microphone on, which I will do in a second here, and then I can use it, and then I can turn it off and go back and forth. <clears throat> so, that being said, that's kind of nice, that I can automatically just turn one on and one off and you know, go to different audio sources. But again, I cannot do two audio signals at the same time, just one audio signal at the same time. Um, the receiver also has a lot of features that you're gonna have to kind of mess with. Uh, it has an attenuator. It has different settings for output. I'm on the dual mono output now. It has a little switch for balance if you wanna change that. Uh, attenuation is zero dB minus 10 or minus 20. I have it in the minus 10. It seems to work best for me because I am playing bass. I am producing, you know, pretty uh, high SPLs. So I don't want to overdrive my microphone. The other advantage of being close to my audio source is I don't have to speak as loud, which I'm used to kind of doing and I need to get used to not doing it. Um, this also has a mute function, which is great. If I'm demoing a piece of gear and I'm going direct, uh, and I'm going back and forth and I'm replacing audio. All I have to do is this. See, the great thing is it mutes this signal so that I don't have to go in when I'm editing and take that little piece of audio and turn it down. I automatically am um, muted. The other great thing, it reminds me to stop talking before I play <laughs> and get that bleed through because I always tend, and I think the natural tendency is when you're speaking, you just want to play, talk, and play and that way your audio will get a little mixed up if you're replacing audio. So now let me switch over to the handheld. So check this out. I'm going to turn this off.
and now this is on. So I had it preset to a couple of different channels. So literally I just turn one unit off, turn the next one on and it's hooked up. So as you can hear, now I'm using the handheld. The handheld is a cardioid polar pattern. So it's gonna pick up anything that's right in front of it. So if I turn it sideways, see, you can't hear me as well. So that's kind of nice, even right here on the side, you can't really hear as well, but right in front, you can actually hear the sound, um, the audio signal. So uh, it has a gain knob on the inside, and I actually have the gain knob, knob sorry, at about halfway, because what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, I actually have a little pre-recorded bass line, and I'm gonna use this as a mic to mic a cabinet. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna see what that sounds like. So here goes, here's a baseline pre-recorded, um, and I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna be about six inches away for the first one. So here goes. Okay, so that was about six inches away. Now I'm gonna be about, um, I don't know, maybe a foot and a half away and we'll see what that sounds like. Here goes. All right, so I've been experimenting and I actually think that sounds really good. So that'll be a great um, addition to, uh, or I shouldn't say it's a great addition, but it's going to be very advantageous to have a microphone that I can have set up and miking a cabinet when I'm demoing gear and record it right away. And it goes right to tape. So that eliminates a lot of my replacing audio with like, a you know, an audio file from logic audio or something. So I'm going to switch back real quick here. All right, so I wanted to do it in real time to show you how easy it is ah, to go back and forth, <laughs> to go back and forth between a couple of units. And the one thing I did not do is I did not play while I was using the lavalier mic. So check this out. Here we go. So here is just a little bass line where you're gonna actually hear what the audio sounds like with the lav. So I actually think it sounds really good. I've been, like I said, I've been testing this unit out for a couple of weeks and I think it sounds really good. Let's say I want to demo this bass and the different pickup settings. So um, check this out. Okay, so here is the Marco TFL Super P bass with the uh, neck pickup. All right, here's both pickups. And here's bridge pickup. So I think that really is really cool because I'll be able to capture really good audio and not necessarily have to replace the audio all the time with a different microphone. It actually sounds really good. So let me just uh, recap. That is the Audio-Technica System 10 wireless system. Comes with the transmitter, the lavalier, and the receiver. And then obviously has different transmitters that you can get um, to complement your system. So I hope that's really helpful and I really like this system and I'm gonna be using it um, as long as uh, the Audio-Technica people let me use it and then maybe I'll buy it. So uh, I really like the unit. So I hope that was helpful and uh, informative. So we'll see you next time. See ya, bye.